Are you looking to up your game when it comes to foam smithing? Then check out this video. G'day guys, it's Kiralee here from Kiralee Cosplay. Today I have the wonderful opportunity to share with you some tools that were sent to me by the lovely people at CosTools. CosTools is a US based company, but they have suppliers all around the world including Australia, as I found out, which is super cool because I saw Alana Outlet's video, which I'll link somewhere or down in the description. And I thought these tools were so, so cool. And I wanted to give them a go myself because the next creation of mine will have some foam pieces to it. So I reached out to them to find out where I could get these supplies from because, you know, I'm not in the US. And they were super lovely, so I do need to let you know this is a sponsored video. However, as always, I will be very honest in regards to what I'm reviewing. And please know this is coming from a point of view which is someone who is sort of new to foam smithing. Like, I've done a little bit of foam work before, but like the project that I'm about to tackle will be the biggest one that I've tackled to date. So they sent me some tools to review and I'm super excited to share them all with you. So the very first thing that I need to talk about is this ruler. It's amazing. Okay. Stop. I know what you're thinking, but let me explain. This ruler is really, really good for the fact that it is super, super sturdy. What I love about this is the fact that it has a grip to it. So when you're measuring out things, you can move it around without like, awkwardly picking it up. Plus also, centimeters. <laughs> centimeters. And this is one thing I really want to give like kudos to Cos Tools. The fact that they use the metric system and also on the other things, they have like metric and also imperial, which thank you. Thank you so much. The other thing about this ruler is the fact that there is a groove on the side and that is really important when we look at a few of the tools that go with this. So just before I absolutely launch into the tools, I do want to say that this came with some instructions. The kit came with some really good detailed instructions. I do recommend that you give it a good read before using any of the tools because I know that for one of the tools I did not. And I struggled for like half an hour until I just stopped and read it really carefully and did what the instructions say. Funnily enough, if you follow the instructions, Kiralee, it's going to work. So the first tool I want to talk about is this. It looks like your regular knife, your Stanley knife, your box cutter, whatever you want to say, except I love this. <laughs> Now I've worked with a few different knives like this over the last couple of years and I didn't think there was anything to a knife until I tried this. The cut that this knife produces is so clean and it was so easy to use. The grip was really, really nice in my hand. It felt sturdy and yeah, I love it. Similar to a lot of knives out there, it is the screw lock which is very, very helpful when making sure that everything's safe and it's super comfortable to hold. The next tool that I played around with was the straight cutter. So this is your alternative to the knife, I think, for a lot of people, uh, especially if you are somewhat of a noob like me, because the thing is, is that this connects to the ruler in that little groove that I was mentioning. It cuts basically along the edge of the ruler. So there's really no guesswork in regards to how much you need to leave in terms of space. What I really like about the designs of these tools also is that the blades are hidden away in most of them within the device itself. There's also a gauge on the back of this, which allows you to change the depth of the knife depending on what type of foam that you're using. And it's in millimeters and in inches. The next tool that I used looks very similar, but has a completely different job. And that is the V Groove Cutter. As the name suggests, this creates a V shaped channel in your foam when in use. This is great to use on things like creating box like shapes, or even potentially if you want to add some kind of beveled groove within your arm and piece. I thought it was really, really nifty. 
I also loved that it's got its blades hidden within the device itself. Plus also you've got a gauge that you can change depending on what phone you're using. Now moving on to the last tool, which can be used in conjunction with the ruler, and that is the straight and bevel cutter. Out of all of the tools, I think this little device is my favorite. Let me tell you why. Number one, the blades are hidden in here. Number two, this can be used for either creating a straight cut down or if you're wanting to get a very sharp 45 degree angle. And to do that, you just change around which side the blade is inserted in and you change around the little block at the bottom. It's really easy to use and the cuts are perfect every time. I will mention at this point that all of the tools that I've shown so far, I've used on 10 millimeter foam, which is the thickest that the tools say that it can go up to. The next one unfortunately doesn't cut through 10 millimeter foam, but it's really good for the detail pieces. And that is the freestyle cutter. It looks very similar to the other one, however, has a completely different purpose. Once again, the blades are hidden within the tool itself, but once it's set up, it's very easy to use. Simply use a pushing motion to create whatever shape it is that you desire. If you're creating detailed pieces, using this over something like this would be a lot easier. Because this has a really, really comfortable grip, it's super easy to use and you've got full control and it feels like you can move your hand around like you're just drawing. So we've talked about straight lines and we've talked about squeaky lines. Let's talk about the hardest shape ever to create and that's round holes. The first thing that I want to talk about is the hole drill. So the hole drill comes in three different sizes. There is a quarter inch, a half inch, and then a three quarter inch. It's super easy to use. All you do is line up the cutter on top of where you're wanting to drill the hole and then twist until it pops the foam through. This worked fine on five millimeter and 10 millimeter, no issue whatsoever. And they were perfect cuts with no tears at all. It was amazing. And that's how you create perfect round small holes. And the last tool that I wanted to share with you today is this circle cutter. This was the tool that I didn't read the instructions before I started. My bad. So you may see in some of these clips here that there's a bit of a rough patch. That was me not paying attention. Read your instructions, don't do a me. The circle cutter creates holes that are between one inch and six inches and is really, really easy to use once you read the instructions. Essentially, all you do is you wind this all the way back to zero and then just twist until it goes through the foam. As it's cutting, it kind of creates like this cakey sound, like it's mixing. And then at the end, it will create like this little, I don't know why, this just reminds me of something to do with cooking. <laughs> I'm cooking up a piece of armor. And there you go, they are the tools that CosTools sent me and I had so much fun playing around with them. Thank you so much CosTools for giving me the opportunity to play with them and I can't wait to use them in my next project. As for you guys, guys, if you are looking to get into foam smithing or you're wanting to level up and you're wanting some tools, you wanna to invest in some good quality tools, I am really blown away with this. Honestly, I can see these tools being really handy for any cosplayer at pretty much any level when it comes to armor making. Most of us use just one of these, but like the dodgy version, not this good version. And that's all we think there's out there and we think that's all we need. But the truth is after trying these, I don't think I would go back. This was super fun and really opened up my eyes to the possibilities of how I can actually craft some armor. Can't wait to get cracking the next cosplay. In the comments below, why don't you tell me which was your favorite tool and which one would you like to give it a try? All right guys, I'll speak to you all next time. Bye.